Lolu <laughs> Um, I've been living with HIV for since uh, shortly after I was born, even though I was only diagnosed about three years ago in 2005. The reason I've been living with, with it since shortly after I was born is because I was born premature and I had a few blood transfusions. Being HIV positive is not a death sentence. I think that, I sh that we should live life to the full and do the best you can do in everything that we do do. I know that there, there is a stigma attached with the HIV, AIDS virus and disease because I have come across a few people that I haven't told that I was, I was thinking of telling them. But when I discuss with them about HIV and AIDS, then they act like it's a death sentence and they really quite close-minded and uninformed about the actual disease. That's why I try to tell a certain amount of my friends and I'm trying to change the my other friends' perspective about HIV and AIDS to be able to tell them my status. My family, my mom and my dad, they they don't really treat me any differently from my sister because of my status. They they treat me as their son because they 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 know that I don't want to be treated differently than anyone else that they could even come across in the streets. What reminders do you have to take your your medication every day? Well, actually, I remember to take my medication basically with the whole family because what I do to that is the easiest thing for me is I set reminders on my cell phone that goes off every time that I need to drink my medication and the rest of my family have decided to copy me as well. So now everybody has reminders on their phone to go off when I need to take my medication. Just this morning when I was trying to think of what's going to happen during this interview. I was I was busy crying and I was, I was thinking that how could someone fall in love with anyone that they know has got HIV and AIDS and how could I try and start a family and my mom was busy talking to me about all the different couples she's heard of and seen that fall in love after they already knew that the other person had had HIV before they even fell in love with them. So that made me feel a bit better and I just plucked up the courage out of the deepness of my soul to do this interview and I'm quite happy with it. <laughs> Flora, o ebi ukulima ngezi nyezi zinto e as experience a yenjogo ba sega kula. Like for instance, in the part of the night, in because I I I was once a teenager now in my life, and I know how how confusing it is. Most of the teenager, uzo was utu zo pega nenda ba zelo gunja na zez 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 zo tans no gutu funa ukshada. Maybe ko unewari gut maybe ba bantu ngi ba zbaktande. For instance, more HIV. Something that really just knocked me is is the fact that. He said that he would never be able to find love. Mm. Um, you, you, you become abnormal to yourself. You don't want to make certain decisions. You don't really want to study because you're not feeling the same as you see your friends are. I never felt normal. I also thought, who would ever be able to love me? I would just like to say, say, say to Abby maybe, you know, I take my hat off for that 
for that guy. I mean, I want to say way, way to go because at, at his age, it's very difficult. I can understand. I would have never even thought of doing what he did. Njalo ngonyaka izingane eziyizinkulungwane ezingamashumi ayisithupha lesihlanu zihlolelwa ingculaza eningizimu Africa. Lezi zingane zidinga ukunikwa imishanguzo masinyane. Yilowo nalowo phakathi kwazo unelungelo lokuphila impilo ejwayelekile. Uma unengane enengculaza noma ocabanga ukuthi inayo ithathe iyohlolwa. Chumana nodokotela wakho mayelana nokuqala imishwanguzo. Hlolwa Hlola izingane zakho zivikele futhi uvikele nabanye protect yourself protect others salani kahle bye bye